What Jeff's showing you now is a fun new kaleidoscope that we got in at the toy store this week. This is What's New Tuesday at Castle Toys and Games, and I'm Linda. Thanks for joining us. So what we have for the kaleidoscope is um, kaleidoscopes with different color bases. You can get purple, gold, silver, etc. And uh, you look at, through the kaleidoscope and you move this up and back and forth and it, it's endless, endless fun. Um, I love kaleidoscopes, it's one of my favorites, so I really like that. We got in some more stress things for the kids, you know, because stress is out there right now. So these are moody faces. They come in green, purple, and blue. And these are not like your poppets. You really have to squish them and ply them and and maybe if you're like an angry driver, you can keep one of these in your car, <laughs> keep you calm. Also on the on the smushy, gushy, squishy line is um, the, the polar bear family that comes with the mama and four babies and uh, super soft, squishy soft. For the babies, we got in this week the rattles, the pipsquigs, we, we saw a lot of pipsquigs, the whirly squigs, the cups, and a lot of toys with the suction cups that can go on your um, high chair table, your um, car seat table, rattles, different textures, so those are pretty cool. Also for the babies, and this one, this one just got me cracking up, this is the uh, Little Sticks Waddler's Penguin, and we never had this before. And I'm really glad I bought it. I opened it up and just immediately started laughing. Wait till you see this. I think it's hilarious. So this is not just for babies, I don't think, because I like it so much too. Um, we also get in, got in the Happy Picnic Basket set. And inside is uh, Velcroed pieces for your sandwich, drinks, strawberries. I'm not sure what this is. Lemonade maybe. And a basket with a gingham cloth. All, all soft sided so that's pretty cool also new um, we've sold squigs um, which are suction cups it's just like suction cup building fun um, they came out with the tubes which has the regular squigs in it and then tubes so you can actually build up onto your your project and this one um, is a squigs 2.0 and it's really cool because it has um, a center in their squigs so you can build from the center pieces and build a, a contraption from there. Hello. Hello again. Also new in we, we updated our little golden books um, through the clearance sale. We got some of the ones that were that we've had for years and it was time to update. So we got Paw Patrol. This one cracks me up. Jurassic Bark, Super Mario, Ray and the Last Dragon. And Snoopy, of course, and Sing. Um, so th those are new titles in our little golden books. Some of the newer. Oh, this is this is hilarious. This is just in time for school. Super big eraser for really big mistakes. We also got in some new Who Was. We're always updating that. This is Who Was Sac Sacagawea. I might have said that incorrectly. Thomas Elva Edison, George Washington Carver. Paul Revere, Claire Barton, and I, I want to read some of these myself. So moving back this way, we got some new Douglas in. This is Thea the Unicorn and Cleo the Unicorn, and just like all Douglas, super soft. We got in Samson the Clydesdell Horse, and they came out with some softies and super soft super super they feel great this is lilith the dragon holly the hippo and a softy dog and i forget his name dotty dotty the dog so those are those are all super super soft super cuddly oh another squishy item the uh the squishy frog with the with the polymers inside. Some people call them orbs. Some people call them water marbles. So those are all in that froggy. And I'm going to show you this in a bit. This is new from Things and Cosmos, the Arrow Dancer. 
We had Pencil Nose and Sturdy Birdie in the store for Christmas last year, but we haven't had them this year until now. So those are new back in. Can I see that Pencil Nose, especially the pencil back of that box? Yes. So you, so you have a clear piece that you're drawing onto, and the marker is attached to the glasses on his nose. So for them to guess, he actually has to draw it backwards, which is uh, pretty tricky to do, but really fun to play. And then before we move over and show you another game, um, I know we got in some Halloween books. There's a lot more coming, but this is our first batch. Hidden Pictures, which is always fun from Highlights. The Wheels on the Bus Halloween. Uh, highlights Hidden Pictures with Puppy Stickers. Kyla's favorite. Happy Halloween, Ladybug Girl. There's stickers in that, in that storybook. I've always enjoyed the Ladybug Girl. Highlights Puzzle Mania. So this has lots of, lots of Halloween puzzles. Mazes. Um, word kind of games. And Halloween Tales. So you solve the Halloween picture. It's kind of like a hidden picture slash Mad Libs in one. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go over to the front counter. I'll show you the Arrow Dancer and a new, a new game called Acuity. Would you like to tell us also about what else you're planning for Halloween with the bags you're putting together? Oh, so we have a lot of um, blind bags in the store. Not right now. We've sold out of a lot. But they've been doing really well. So we're putting together Halloween blind bags for you, and they're going to be amazing. So we are working on that. We'll probably show you some next week, if, Great. if we can. And here we have the game Acuity. This is a matching game, puzzle game, good for a lot of uh, visual discrimination going on here. So what you do is you pick a card from the pile, and you find um, a matching spot where it might go. Now, this might look like it's a match, but it really isn't. It's opposite. So we're gonna move it down here, and here's two red squares, a green diamond, and a yellow star. So the person who would find that first would get to keep this tile, and that would count as a point for them. So then, you, then the next person pulls the next card, and you start looking for this tile. And um, you're just looking around the board. You can twirl it, to make it easier to find if you need to and um, it matches right here so that person who would put that on there would pick that tile and they would get to uh, have that for another point it's a six by six grid these are all the tiles so it's a changing it's a changing grid every time you play this game and new every time so that's called a cootie the next thing we have up is the uh, inflatable arrow dancer. And this is a Thames and Cosmo science product. And so not only is it fun with the arrow dancer, but there's also five experiments. It comes with like styrofoam balls and stuff like that. Uh, first is the first cool thing is you build it. Then the second cool thing is the experiments and playing with it. So the on off switch is here and the airflow valve is here. So we'll just turn this baby on. And there he is. You change with the air. There we go. It's better with the higher airflow. So that's an experiment too in learning how to uh, make your arrow dancer float. And then you would do it with the balls and other other type things. So thanks for watching our What's New Tuesday. And we appreciate your business and I hope to continue being the best in the bird with you. Thanks.